Translating a Revit project is easy with ID8 BIMLINK. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basic translation workflow. There are four primary sources for text. Text elements, sheet and view names, parameter values within schedules, and text used within note blocks. We'll tackle the text elements first and see how ID8 BIMLINK makes translation easy. We'll begin by finding ID8 BIMLINK on the Add-ins tab. From the Help menu, we can access some sample links. Here, we'll use the text-spellcheck link definition as a starting point. Using the Properties tab, we can edit this existing link to suit our purposes. It will be useful to our translation process to see the sheet number, view family and type, and the view name alongside with the text itself. Using the drop-down menu, we can access the additional parameter we need, sheet number. Next, we'll modify the link definition description for future translations. And then lastly, we should also right-click and rename the link. Now we're ready to export the file to Excel. When we open the file, we'll see that the text column is white, which is an indication that this field can be edited. The grayed out fields help us with important decisions about the changes we'll need to make. The first step I like to take is to use Excel's sorting tool to sort on the sheet number field. We now have a clearer view of which text is actually going to be printed. If I'm paying for a translation, I might want to delete any of the rows without a sheet number. As we scan through the list of view types, we may also decide that text within certain types of views should not be translated. Here, for example, we see that there are lots of text items found within the abbreviation legends. We can delete them from Excel without impacting BIMLINK's ability to manage the data. When we're done, we can save the revisions and send it on its way to be translated. This is the part of the tutorial where I need to make a big disclaimer. Because I don't work at the UN and my high school French is not adequate, I'm going to expedite the translation process by using a tool I found online called Doc Translator. We are in no way endorsing the use of this tool, though it appears to be pretty slick. Hopefully, you'll have access to a real person to help ensure the quality of your translation. The URL we're using here is onlinedoctranslator.com. After installing an applet, you can scroll down to find the Excel file option. After browsing to the file that ID8 BIMLINK has generated, you can pick from this surprisingly long list of languages and have your Excel file translated. We'll select German as the language for all of the Revit project text elements. The online doc translator creates a new Excel file suffixed with the language name. Open the original Excel and the newly translated version side by side. The first thing we'll want to do is ensure that the column headers and the tab name in the German file match the original. Now we're ready to save and import the German text back into Revit. When we import the text, ID8 BIMLINK gives us a preview of the changes that we are about to make. In this example, we also note that we have some warnings. The reason is that some of the read-only fields, such as the view type and name, were also translated into German, but are not allowed to be edited from within this text-based link. The good news is that ID8 BIMLINK will ignore these changes and proceed with changing only the text values. We've completed our German translation for all of the text elements within our Revit project. Next, let's take on the naming of the views. Again, we'll start by using one of our predefined links. We can use the Views Renumber link as a starting point. This link includes the view name and the title on sheet parameters, which should suffice for our translation purposes. Before we exit, we'll edit the link description and then rename the link for future reference. Use the Export button to create the Excel file. Next, we'll go back to the Online Translator tool and select our new Excel file with the view names. This time, let's specify Chinese as our language of choice. As we learned from our last translation, this will create a new version of the Excel file, wherein all of the text and the worksheet name will be translated. Set up your original and translated version of the Excel file side by side. 
This time, we'll use the copy-paste functions to copy not only the column headers, but also to copy the three grayed-out columns from the original. This will eliminate any of the warning messages related to editing the sheet names from within this view-based link. Next, we'll use the sort function from Excel's data tab. Based on past experience with this translation tool, I found that some words, like piping and plumbing, are being translated using the same word. The sorting will help us find any duplicates. From the Home tab within Excel, you can use the Conditional Formatting tool to highlight duplicate view names. Revit allows for the duplication of view names as long as the view type differs, such as a first floor for a floor plan and a first floor for a ceiling plan. The red cells show us that there are some duplications of view names within the same view type. We'll need to address these later with a real translator, but for now, we'll delete them from the Excel file. I also recommend using sort on the family and type field. There may be certain types of views that should retain their view names, such as the panel schedule names. Deleting them from Excel ensures that the names won't be translated upon import back to Revit. After saving the file, we can import the results. During the import, Revit will ask if we want to rename the levels to match the view name changes. This will save us the hassle of translating the level names, so I'll accept that request. With no warnings or errors, we'll accept the import values and then zoom in to check out the Chinese view titles. Hopefully our Chinese translator has done a good job. Thus far, we've translated the text and view names. Next, we'll walk through an example of how to handle some of the schedule-based information and review how note block information can also be handled. Let's take a look at our mechanical equipment schedule. The title of the schedule has already been translated into Chinese during our last step for editing the views. We can use ID8 bin link to edit all of the parameter values for this equipment schedule, in this case, the family type and name. To do this, we use a mechanical equipment type link. We'll create a new link from scratch. We'll select the family, type name, and manufacturer parameters for inclusion within this Excel file. I've used the magic of video editing to fast forward here to a new Excel file that has already been translated, this time into Spanish. After we import these mechanical equipment properties, we see that the schedule values update automatically. The same task will be required for any other type of schedule you may have in your project. The last type of data we'll translate are the note blocks. Here's an example of a notebook that's being used to represent some demolition notes. With ID8 BIM link, you have access to generic annotation types. Here, we're importing a file where the type comment parameter has been translated already into French. We've covered the four most common Revit elements that will require translation. There are a few additional text challenges that are worth noting. If you're using the text associated with keynotes, then you'll also need to convert that content as well. Since the keynote content exists already within a text file, you won't need BIMLink to make this kind of modification. Additionally, there are some types of text that will need to be manually altered. The actual parameter name, for example, cannot be easily changed, so for the schedules, the column headers can be edited manually with a text override. ID8 BIMLink can easily externalize the text components of your Revit project, making it easy for a translator who doesn't own Revit to efficiently translate the project deliverable. Thanks for watching. Visit us at ID8BIMLink.com for more information.